Well, this Saturday, dozens of participants will be competing in the Braille Challenge at USC, and the event is the only academic competition of its kind held in North America for students who are blind or visually impaired. And we're joined by Sandy Shin, who's the with the Braille Institute of America, and Lynn Wu, a finalist of the Braille Challenge. We want to welcome you both for joining us. So, Sandy, I want to start with you. Explain to folks what is the Braille Challenge. So the Braille Challenge is an academic competition for those who have learned how to Braille. Mm -hmm. It really focuses on Braille reading and writing, mm -hmm. and it's a way for us to really highlight mm -hmm. the accomplishments of those who are blind or visually impaired. It's sort of like the script spelling bee mm -hmm. for those who Braille. Yeah. And we really feel like Braille, Braille is literacy. Mm -hmm. This is how individuals who are blind or visually impaired mm -hmm. read and write. Now, in this competition, there's actually five categories. Tell me what the categories are. So the categories are spelling, mm -hmm. reading comprehension, proofreading, mm -hmm. um, charts and graphs. Mm -hmm. and so it, it's pretty comprehensive yes. in terms of how many skill sets mm -hmm. our participants have to demonstrate. Okay. And Lynn, there were some 800 students that started out with this and now we're down to 50 and you're one of those 50. How does it feel to be one of the top? It feels really great and I'm mm -hmm. really proud to have been because I lost my vision in fourth grade so it's oh. only been like six years so I'm really proud to have learned Braille and, and mastered it in such a short time. Yeah, no, that's really um, great. And how did you prepare to you know, get ready for this competition? So for the different categories, Braille Institute on their website, they have a lot of practice materials. Mm -hmm. So I've been using that a lot. Okay, okay. And has it been exciting to be connected with so many other students? I mean, do you guys get time to kind of hang out a little bit or not? We will have that experience over the weekend, yes. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be really exciting to get to hear other people's stories mm -hmm. and what they like to do and what they've accomplished. Yeah, and now, um, Sandy, if you could tell me, what is really the goal of the competition? I mean, it's, it's beyond just naming a winner. Yes, it's really for us intervening at a very early age. Mm -hmm. uh, the competition is for those who are first through 12th grade mm -hmm. and highlighting the importance of Braille literacy. Mm -hmm. that, is the, that is the goal and many of the participants go on to higher education mm -hmm. and professional careers and that is our focus and our goal. Mm -hmm. And Lynn, was it hard for you to pick up Braille? It was difficult at first because it's like a whole different concept because mm -hmm. you're feeling instead of seeing letters. Mm -hmm. But once I got a hold of, you know, reading tactilely, it's, it was not that hard. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't to you. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's why you're in the top 50 now because it didn't feel that hard to you. And um, if, will you name just one winner? We have multiple categories, okay. so we have first, second, and third place for okay. the five category, age categories. Okay. Um, and so we award, you know, trophies, oh. and uh, the winners come up on stage, and uh -huh. we recognize them, and it's a really, really fun, amazing event. And it's been going on for more than 20 years. Yes, we are celebrating our 22nd year of Braille Challenge. Well, it is fantastic, and Lynn, we have to say good luck to you on Saturday. We'd love to hear you uh, come back and tell us about being the champion. So <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. And you can find out more information about the Braille Challenge by just going to our website, kcal9.com, and clicking Scene on TV.